Okay, let's do another distance problem. In this case, we have two cars traveling, one going 256 miles and the other traveling 200 miles in the same exact time. That technically is the key. So if you read the rest of the problem, it compares nothing else other than their speed. So the same time is the key here. In other words, what we're looking for is the equation that says something like time for car A is equal to time for car B. And just for fun, I'm going to I'm going to call um, this car A and this car B. So this will be A, this will be B. And going up to the uh, top part of the sentence, it says one car travels 256 miles. And then it says the second car travels 200 miles. So which car is faster? Definitely the one that travels 256 miles. So which one corresponds to A and which one corresponds to B? Definitely A, which travels faster, went 256 miles. So I will mark A here and B there. Next, go back to that equation that we used before that says speed is equal to distance over time. And since our equation up top here says time is equal to time, we're going to have to solve for time. So clear our fractions. Multiply both sides by time. Cancel the times on the right-hand side. And then clean it up a little bit to say distance equals time times speed. Get time by itself. Divide both sides by speed. And time equals distance over speed. That is what we will use inside our time equals time equation. So again, time equals time. We're looking at A and B here, so I'll say A and B. And I will substitute in distance over speed equals distance over speed. Just remember that the left-hand side is for car A and the right-hand side is for car B. So what was the distance? What was the distance that car A traveled? Car A traveled 256 miles. What was the distance that car B traveled? 200 miles. Now look for speed. Again, it says one car is 14 miles per hour faster than the speed of the second car. We need a variable, and since we're comparing A with B, we should probably say B or X equals the speed of the second car, which in this case is car B. So automatically, I'll put an X in that denominator, and since A is 14 miles per hour faster, remember faster is representative by addition, we will say x plus 14. That is our equation. All we need to do now is solve the equation for x. I won't take it the whole way, but I'll get us started. First step, cross multiply. 200 times x plus 14, or 200 times the quantity of x plus 14 is 200x plus 28 zero zero equals 256 times x last but not least solve for x subtract 200 x and I'll have 2800 equals 56 x I'll let you take it from there but divide both sides by 56 and you will get the speed of the second car. Make sure you know that the directions say, find the speed of both cars. So after you get X, or the speed of the second car, make sure you get the speed of the first car too.